Cheetah. Cheetah. Mmm. Ah. <laughs> Before, many years ago, I went on mission work to Africa. Oh, the country's so beautiful. We did a lot of work. We worked so hard, we sweated, we struggled. But oh, we had such a wonderful time because God gave us strength. Then we had two or three days that were given the opportunity to go have fun and look around at the animals. There are so many different animals, really cool animals in Africa. So we went on safari. Oh, it was neat. We had a van. In our van, it had a, a top that would move up. And then we were able to take our heads and stick our heads out the top of the van and look at all the animals. Oh, it was really cool. It was really exciting to look at all the animals. But we were looking and looking and searching, and we couldn't find the cheetah. We couldn't find it anywhere. We looked all over. We saw the elephants. We saw many different lions and many, many other animals, but not the cheetah. Why? Because they're so fast. But finally, as we were looking, ah, we saw the cheetah. Oh, the cheetah was tired. We were so excited to look at it. We took our heads and stuck them out the top of the van and looked at the cheetah. And then when we were finished, we were ready to go. We started to drive off. We tried to drive off, but we noticed we had a problem. Our van, our van wouldn't go forward. It was stuck. We were stuck in the mud. We couldn't drive on. There are many different people from many different countries and other vans all around us. And they saw the cheetah too. But then they noticed that we were stuck. So these different men from these different vans, they all gathered around our van. Can we help? And they told all three of us girls to go ahead and get out of the van. We were kind of nervous, biting our nails, because we didn't want to become kitty cat food. We didn't want the cheetahs to eat us. But anyway, we were standing there waiting and watching, but the cheetahs had already ran away. And those different, different men from those different countries, they all came together. They gathered around our van. And they started to say one word. Harambe. Harambe. That word, what does it mean? Well, it means working together. All those different men from those different countries spoke different languages like German. Some people spoke French. Some people spoke Spanish. There were many different languages. Like English, there were so many different languages. And they all worked together. And they began to count. One, two, three. There were so many different languages that I was hearing all at the same time. They were speaking their, all their different languages, saying one, two, three. And then they said that one word that was taken from the Swahili language. They said one, two, three in their different languages. And they said, Harambe! And they yelled, Harambe! And that van which was stuck in the mud, they lifted it out. And as they were working together, they were able to lift that van out of the mud successfully. And we weren't stuck any longer. We were able to drive off. You know, it's really important for you and I, members of the church, to work together. We need to meet together. We need to be together. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 10, Verses 24 and 25. Let's think about each other and how we can encourage one another and help each other and show each other love and good deeds. Don't stay away from fellowshipping at the church. Continue to meet together. Some people are in the habit of staying away, but go ahead and meet together. 
and encourage one another. Do that all the more, more and more, as the day is near. The day when Jesus will come again is near. So meet together. Meet together and encourage one another. It's so important. Jesus wants you and I to be together, to work together, to love each other, to be together. Work together. And I challenge you to remember that story. One, two, three. Harambe! Harambe! Work together. We can be able to do many wonderful things. And that's the truth. If the church will work together and we will meet together, we can have success. Success in Jesus.